Hi, for Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie. Our guests today are Jason Talley and Pete Ayer of MotorhomeDiaries.com, a website devoted to their interesting adventure, which is commencing in a few days. Guys, tell me, uh, what, what are you going to be up to uh, in a month's time or so? Well, this uh, morning, we just uh, bought our RV. Uh, Pete and I split it uh, half and half, and we're getting ready to uh, launch a website, MotorhomeDiaries.com. Uh, where we're going to uh, take video, uh, blog, and even tweet uh, as we cross the country, talking to um, people who are uh, working hard to uh, promote freedom and also telling the stories of uh, people that are victimized by uh, government. What's, uh, what's the basic route you're going to be taking? Or do you know? Is this a uh, kind of update of the Merry Pranksters' uh, adventures of uh, Further the Bus? Uh, what, what winds will blow you away? Yeah, initially we're actually going to leave this Friday or Saturday and we're going to head up to New Hampshire and that's going to be our home base up there. There's a lot of really good freedom-oriented folks and some activists. And on the way, we're going to, we're going to have two stops. We're going to uh, talk with a, uh, a guy in Maryland who, who also just bought an RV and who's also really into this freedom movement and who plans to move to New Hampshire. And then we're going to meet with uh, some other people just outside of Philly and have like a social and uh, just kind of get some folks on board. And then after that, we plan to, we have to be out in L.A. for the end of April, so we're just going to travel across the country. And what uh, what uh, inspired this uh, madcap uh, adventure? Uh, obviously, you're calling it the motor or the uh, motorhome diary, so it's, right. uh, there's a reference there to uh, Che Guevara. Yes. Not quite a freedom fighter, but uh, exactly. where where did this idea come from? Um, it's about time for me to leave D.C. I got to get out of here. I mean, Obama's coming in, and uh, the only growth industry in America right now is government, and so we kind of want to tell the stories about what's going on and, and how his policies are affecting people um, and of course the, the, the awful policies of George Bush and tell a lot of the human stories that, uh, that are going on in, in America and reaching out. Right, yeah, and it's not just those folks who just want to talk about the, the institution of government, but uh, for me, you know, being at the Institute for Humane Studies and working with the Campus Network Program and now, then at Bureau Crash, you know, really seeing the strength of uh, the networks and and when you make personal connections with people, how they can, they, they can you know, build that affinity and they can uh, reach out to people in their sphere. So we just really want to get out there and personalize this. So to borrow a phrase from our president, uh, it's going to be like community organizing. And so uh, you know, we want to meet up with a lot of libertarians along the way, um, kind of um, network them all together and hopefully keep them going. Because, uh, I mean, you know, we're under attack right now. Um, and so this would be a good opportunity to uh, get people to, uh, to organize. What, uh, where are you going to be posting your video? It's uh, well, going to be our YouTube account, but everything is going to go through MotorhomeDiaries.com. Okay, and then um, can you talk a little bit about FreeAgents.com? Uh, uh, what is that? FreeAgents.com is a website. We talk about the news and views um, from the front lines of freedom. Uh, we also are getting ready to start FreeAgents.net, which is going to be a social network. So um, as people hear about us and as we meet with people, we want them to continue talking and collaborating with one another. Talk a little bit about the new media component here. Both of you guys have uh, worked at Bureaucrash. You do new media, uh, video, things like that. Um, how, how is new media intrinsic to your operation here? It's crucial. I mean, we're going to go out and, and interact with people and help to ter tell their stories. So for us, we just want to have a lot of cameras, shoot a lot of, of video, and and right away, you know, we'll be able to edit the video and, and get it online and, and uh, build that community. What is, uh, what's your dream outcome of this uh, trip? We'll probably have uh, a book uh, if we have good footage. I mean, we're going to take tons of footage. So we'll have these small videos, but also put it together for maybe a documentary. And then uh, when that's done, we can do a book tour. Um, do you have, uh, you know, what's a, what's a story that you're itching to tell? Do you have any prototypes of the, uh, you know, of specific cases that you're talking about? Well, I mean, even just this morning when we were picking up the RV, you know, uh, a couple guys came by that worked for the electrical company and they were shutting, doing some things with the transformer nearby and they asked us what we were doing and we told them we had this, you know, 10 minute interaction with them and they were, you know, pretty much in agreement. I mean, obviously they're, they're not, they don't know who Rothbard is and, and that kind of stuff, but they basically said, yeah, you know, we earned our money, we should be able to keep it. And I don't, like these politicians or bureaucrats, they don't know better than we do. And just like that kind of mindset, for me, it's, we're going to be getting out there, um, you know, putting these people in touch with each other, building these communities. And, uh, you know, I think half the battle is exposing people to these ideas, so. And then the other half is making sure you have a full tank of gas to get the hell out of town. That's right. That'd be great.
Um, is there, can you point me to an RV story that ends well? <laughs> I mean, race with the devil, it ends, spoiler alert, it ends with uh, demonic Satan worshippers killing uh, oh, Warren Oates and Peter there. Fonda. Um. Okay, uh, you know, lost in America, they barely make it out of LA and end up sure. in a trailer park in, or in well, Arizona. Like that movie, we are going to put all of our money together and gamble it. That's, that's, that's our business uh, plan. You know, I, uh, so your first stop is actually Foxwoods Casino in Connecticut? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, when are you taking off? Friday, Saturday. Okay, and then you'll be in LA in April. That's correct. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah for the Liberty Forum that and, Alice is uh, running. And then you will be, uh, will you be coming back as well, or do you drive it into the ocean? We're not going to drive it into the ocean. Um, hopefully, we'll uh, turn, uh, turn back we'll get to. Get on a ferry uh, and go to Japan. Exactly. Okay. We haven't decided, but uh, yeah, we'll be back in DC in a couple months. Okay. And we'll, well, hopefully, we'll have some stories to tell. Yeah, well, we'll look forward to having you back, and uh, we'll be checking in at uh, the mobile home diaries. Motorhomediaries.com. For your updates and Twitter and all of that. All those uh, crazy new media tools, yes. Yeah. I want to thank my guests, Jason Talley and Pete Ayer of motorhomediaries.com. We'll be checking in with them over the uh, course of their trip. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.